Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, Donald Trump, during his campaign, he said he was going to shake things up in Washington. He's going to drain the swamp. He says that he's going to make the country stronger and better. Well, judging by the people he's putting in charge of things, he will shake things up, but not in a good way. And as far as draining the swamp goes, well, he surrounded himself with billionaires, Goldman Sachs executives. Those people are the swamp. So is Trump. Many of the people who will run various departments in his, his administration are uniquely unqualified to do so. So I'm going to talk about some of them uh, in the days ahead. Let's start with Scott Pruitt. Donald Trump's pick to head the EPA. Not only is he completely unqualified to head the agency, he is actually extremely hostile to the EPA's mission to protect the environment. As the Attorney General of Oklahoma, Pruitt sued the EPA over regulations of power plants. He is, like Trump, a climate change denier. Now Trump has said that climate change is a hoax made up by the Chinese. Uh, in order to make U.S. manufacturing uh, less competitive. In fact, the Chinese initially were climate change skeptics. And they were for a very long time massive polluters. And they demanded that they would be allowed to have exceptions to uh, a lot of the uh, uh, pollution, anti-pollution agreements that went on in the world. But they were forced to look towards clean energy by the problems that were happening in their own country. The Chinese used to burn a lot more coal than they do nowadays. But as levels of air pollution soared in their country, they saw their major cities covered by a permanent haze and a massive rise in chronic health problems related to pollution among their people. Confronted with that, they basically jumped in to the clean energy development uh, market with both feet. In fact, they are now one of the world's leading manufacturers of solar panels. And this is a market along with other clean energy development, that is the wave of the future. And we have the potential to be movers and shakers in that market. The Trump administration's hostility to clean energy development will place us at a huge disadvantage in a growing market. That will, and this will eventually actually damage the U.S. economy. Pruitt wants to increase the use of fossil fuels. He has received over $300,000 in contributions from the fossil fuel industry. He even allowed Devon Energy to write a complaint letter to the EPA using his letterhead when he was Attorney General. He has resisted EPA efforts to limit pollution, including mercury and arsenic, uh, which leaks from power plants. He has said, the American people are tired of seeing billions of dollars drained from the economy by unnecessary EPA regulation, uh, regulation. He says that it's a job killer, but uh, Barack Obama, with those regulations, still managed to create over 15 million jobs, so it can't be that big a job killer. In short, Scott Pruitt is an advocate for pollution. He thinks it's a good thing. He has been placed in charge of the EPA not to lead it, but to prevent it from doing what it's supposed to. 
protecting us from the fat cats who would pollute our air and water. And he will eventually be confirmed. The Democrats can't stop him. And this will not only harm the health of the planet, but the health of individual people, too. Thanks for listening.